So, the main reason that we're manipulating meal frequency is hunger control. And there's a fair amount of research showing that either going to, going to either extreme of a high or low frequency can cause issues with hunger. And this makes sense if you think about it. If I told you you could have 2,000 calories to eat, but you had to eat every single hour that you were awake, these would be very low calorie meals. And you'd be constantly thinking about food. You'd basically be focused on food, yet never being satiated, which would drive more hunger. On the flip side, if I told you you could only eat once per day, for the 16 hours you were awake, that would be a 15 hour period where you were awake but not eating. And you'd be waiting for that meal like it was the most important thing in your life. So you'd be hungry for a long period of time. So either way, you run into practical problems. So more than likely, the best idea is to eat between roughly three to six meals per day. This is useful for hunger control, but it also can be useful, theoretically, for muscle maintenance. While we don't have any long-term studies comparing different meal frequencies with matched protein, we do have some indication that making sure you equally spread your protein out over these three to six meals may optimize your total muscle protein balance over the day. Muscle protein balance is basically the combination of total muscle protein breakdown and muscle protein synthesis. And it's been shown that there is a maximum amount that you can stimulate muscle protein synthesis in any given meal. So therefore, if you spread your protein out over multiple days, your net increase in muscle protein synthesis for the day will be higher, which may result in greater lean mass retention throughout the course of a diet. And this is one of those things that we don't have firm evidence on, but it's very easy to implement. There's a potential for benefit and no potential for harm. So to sum all this up, while muscle protein synthesis is not, not exactly the same thing as true change in muscle mass, and it is a mechanistic versus applied outcome, it may be a smart idea just to simply tell your athletes to have three to six meals per day and roughly spread protein between them. Now we've optimized all the theoretical and practical sides of meal frequency to hopefully help our athletes compete with as much muscle as possible.